High Availability Process Automation I.O. Let's talk about E2200 SPHA. In this rack here, we have a high availability architecture. We're using redundant power supplies, which are going to redundant industrial scale and switches, which then communicate to our redundant AS410 controller pair. From there, we're going out via redundant Profinet to the I.O. rail. In this case, we have copper connections, but these also could be fiber if the distance was further. You can extend this here. This I.O. rail could be up to 56 I.O. cards. It's rated from minus 40 to plus 70. It is conformally coded. This I.O. you can add more online. You can also leave gaps in the rack to have a common design if you had a common architecture or preferences for design. Or you could also remove cards online. This little white button on top, you press that white button and you safely de-energize that I.O. and remove it. The architecture also supports redundancy. In this case, these two I.O. cards are redundant and you see here the termination is blank on the second card. So wire once and get the redundancy. The I.O. provides for analog inputs, both 4 to 20 milliamp as well as heart. The heart input cards are 16 channel and the outputs are eight. Let's talk about how we could fit the total of 56 I.O. cards. You could actually mount this I.O. vertically, and with that design, you would be able to fit the 56 I.O. cards and possibly as many as 800 I.O. in one side of a cabinet. High availability, opportunities for redundancy, and a flexible architecture. This I.O. was made for the process industries. This is ET200 SPHA.